Hey YouTube, this is Texas Backyard Gardener and uh, wanted to talk a little bit about um, some leaf damage that I've been noticing. Um, so I'm right here where my long tie beams are and I'm not going to be talking about the uh, leaf miners but I'm going to be talking about this discoloration right here. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Um, but it uh, looks really, really splotchy. And I want to show y'all something else. Let's come over here to my okra because it's it's really, really bad. So let's just walk over here real quick. Oh, look. I don't want to make this video about leaf miners, but it looks like, looks like I got some leaf miner action here. Um, oh, man, we need to, we need to clip some. But, uh, oh, a lot of the leaves kind of fell off. Look at that. That's crazy. Um, here's some, here's some discoloration here. Uh, let's take a look. Here's some discoloration right here, too. See that? Look at all that. It's all shiny. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but... It is super shiny. Um, let's take a look on the other side of this because there could be two reasons what this is. Um, what I'm looking for is uh, oh, look at those little white things. Those little white looking worm things. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to figure it out that's disgusting but look at all those little black droppings on there I don't see what I'm really looking for is little red little red dots little red mites really and those are the spider mites but I'm not seeing anything but I'm seeing a bunch of little well actually there's a little web right there so it could be a combination of spider mites and something else. Oh, there's a there's a little red looking dot right there. It could be something. Uh, it could be spider mites. But um, this this is uh, really really problematic because it just as you can see what happens. Look at those little white worm looking things if anybody knows what that is let me know I may do some research on it but those things are sucking the life out of the leaves I'm gonna have to cut them down I think this okra is about past its days but um, from what I can tell I've, I've seen a couple of little bugs flying around uh, on the leaves and I think I spotted one right over here. So let's come over here and take a look real quick. I want to show y'all. There's something called the leaf hopper. And leaf hoppers are probably about a half inch, maybe a quarter inch long. I saw one. I don't know if y'all can see that little booger right in there. But he's sitting on there. Let me see if I can zoom in. If, it, if it's too blurry. Yeah, it's getting a little blurry. This guy is a green one. Let me see if I can get behind this leaf and not disturb him. Okay. Let's see if I can zoom in. Nope. It's not. It's zooming in on the brick. Let's see if I can wiggle it around. Oh, it's still zooming in on the mulch. That sucks. Um, he's he's actually squirting something out of his butt. It looks like water. I wish I could zoom in on it a little bit better. Maybe I can come down right here. No, it's just zooming in on the brick. Alright, sorry y'all, but y'all can see pictures of it online if you Google it. But 
he's he's literally squirting something out of his butt and I don't know what it is it looks like it looks like water um but these leaf hoppers they uh is what they'll do is they'll they'll get in there and start sucking the life out of your plants I mean they'll they'll eat the sap and they are um and they are hungry, hungry, aggressive little critters. You've probably seen them. They look like little beetles. And their wings are kind of in a, uh, kind of like a triangle. I mean, it comes to a point like that. It, it's, it's, um, they're very distinctive if you, if you see one. I mean, you'll know exactly what it is. Too bad I can't get a better close-up of it. Some of them are brown, some of them are green. Dang it. I can't get a close up. But is what they'll do is they'll sit there and they'll suck the life out of your your, your leaves as well. And um, they'll cause this discoloration. Um, because those little boogers will spread bacteria all through your plants. And then ultimately have the discoloration on the leaves like you see. Um, I don't see any spider mites on here, but um, the leaf hopper will leave these little black, uh, basically poop, little black poop pellets, and that's what that's what I'm looking for. And I see some on here. I don't know if you you guys can see anything on here or not, but I'm seeing these little black pellets, and um, they're they're really really teeny. I mean, they're about as small as spider mites. So, I think I've got a combination of spider mites and uh, leaf hoppers. But it looks like I've got both. I've got spider mites and leaf hoppers around here. So, if you see, you know, your your plants um, getting that type of discoloration on them, like this, uh, chances are you've got spider mites or leaf hoppers. And uh, really, you'll have to look at organic control or some type of pesticide control. Again, I don't really uh, deal in pesticides too much. Uh, actually, not at all. But um, I thought I'd share this with you because, you know, I was racking my brain about what it could be. And a buddy of mine said that I could have spider mites. And then I saw that little, I saw this little booger on this uh, stem. Um, yesterday and I, I did some research and I found out that that little sucker is called a leaf hopper and I thought I would share it with y'all so yeah I've, I've got quite a bit so really once once your plant has this type of uh, damage you know it's it, it's not going to produce anything it's it's pretty much just here for foliage I need to um, I need to rip out all this and uh, probably cut down my okra in the back or on the side of the house and just get rid of it. So anyway, uh, I thought I'd share that little piece of information on the leaf discoloration because I saw quite a bit of it when I came back from uh, Colorado. So anyway, uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up for sure and comment, uh, subscribe, and uh, you know, uh, if if you think it might be something else besides spider mites or leaf hoppers, please leave your comments below. Until next time, peace.